was planning on walking this route, this part yesterday, but uh, the storm just absolutely, the storm absolutely smashed um, Ireland, Storm Alley. So I was kind of forced to uh, have a rest day yesterday. Uh, but no harm, I suppose, no harm. Got a lot of road ahead of me. Uh, not necessarily looking forward to it. So there's the Lake of Loch Lynn. Um, just a pity you don't, we don't get to see much more of it. Uh, hopefully the trail will go around that way. Uh, you'll be able to get a nice little lake walk around there, but um, that's just the way it is at the moment. Unfinished section. The effects of Storm Alley. The poles are there, but no signs. Walking into Battle of Dream, where I stayed the previous night, I have to stop and mention how well I was taken care of by Andrew and the crew from Durkin's Bar, where I met some really good people and local legend, Mary Gallagher. What was Battle of Dream like growing up? When I was growing up, just full of life and fields to the back of the houses and places where you could play and great interaction with children. And some, the worst thing could happen is fall and cut your two knees and then you'd be half blamed and half cured, one or the other, <laughs> depending on which mood they were in at the time. And uh, you had to be carried home. If you were carried home, it would be more serious business. But wh what was really to be feared was a knock on the door and some nosy yoke said, oh, your child did such and such to my little, you know, and uh, you'd say on your breath, half enough, he didn't get it. No, you'd say, oh, I'm so sorry about that. They'd come on the train, yes, and the uh, wonderful thing was they had this truck that you wheel and a fellow called Christy Daly used to go up to collect from the things that came in and deliver them round down. And what we'd be looking out for is a stainless steel box in which was the film which we'd see the following Sunday. And if there was no stainless steel box, there was no film. And you'd cry all the way to the... <laughs> to wherever. And I would Walt Disney and... Um, Hop along Cassidy and all that, and we'd be so excited. You'd be on your best behaviour so you get fourpence for the matinee and tuppence for sweets. And then you'd, and my mother would sit down in her armchair and breathe a sigh of relief. We'd all go off out the cinema and we'd be entertained for about three hours. And we'd come home full of it. And one of my brothers used to tell the story from start to finish. First Tarzan came down from the tree, then he did such and such. But it does good, it does good. It's past Ballin' the Dream, uh, the route takes you on some very, very quiet country roads, country lanes, which is good, but it's still a road. And as you can see when I get to this junction, not one way marker in sight. This here is a dirty, nasty stretch of road. I'm not enjoying walking on it. There's barely any move to, there's barely any room to step aside. Cars are whizzing by me. Uh, I've got a, I've got a light to kind of help me along, but it's just it's such a busy road as well. Ah, uh, it's just I just don't like it. The sooner I get off this damn road, the better. I'll tell you how much for nothing. So I made it to the turn off finally, but bloody hell, it was slow going, and I'm telling you. It's way too narrow, it's way too dangerous. This section of road has to be taken away from walking because it's just not walkable. I mean, the drivers would probably go mental at me, but you're basically walking that narrow stretch. And when you actually walk into the bushes, you're literally pushing yourself in the bushes in order to avoid two cars coming at the same time and, and, two, and two, two, two lanes. 
it's insane. It's a pure insanity and it's bloody dangerous and I suppose I'm a bigger feckin' Egypt for doing it, but it is what it is. Now I'm just gonna get myself to Monster Eden and just get the head down for the night. I finished my day's hiking at Jory's Bar where I got my stamp. Good to see a familiar face again. Uh, just sheltering for a bit, just hoping this uh, passes. I've got my rain gear on, but um, I don't have my rain gear bottoms on, and I'm a bit lazy, so I'm not going to bother putting them on. Um, if it's not passing 10 minutes, then I'll have to do a bit of a change of Rooney. I can't believe I said change of Rooney. Change Rooney. This bloody hike is, is destroying my mental functions. Anyway, hopefully, enough it passes soon. One of the Elvis signs just came up, and uh, yeah, Balanfa is not too far away. And this section of the Ireland Way is coming to a close. Um, probably have got to say that I'm not overly disappointed at that. One of the main reasons because the Minor Way next, that I've always wanted to do the Minor Way, Miner's Way. But um, yeah, it's not really been that great to be honest with you.